Hey guys, uh, we're back down in the shop again today, and uh, today's a pretty good day to to be in the shop because uh, there's about uh, I don't know 12 or 13 inches of snow on the ground, and and I'll put a picture on the screen so you guys can see what it looks like outside our door. Uh, <laughs> lots of snow. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good day to come down here and and do some work, but uh, there's a couple things we need to do uh, now. These pedal arms were the last thing that we worked on, and uh, we're not quite finished with these pedal arms just yet. Uh, we got uh, quite a bit of work still to do on these. Um, so uh, I, I'd like to talk about something that uh, I learned uh, this past week. I was browsing through uh, the channels on YouTube, and um, there's, a, there's a channel I, I frequently watch. Uh, there's a guy that's, his name is, uh, Tom Lipton. And Tom is a machinist. Uh, I believe he has his own company. Now, I'm not positive of that, um, because it, it, it's, it's called Ox Tool Company. And, um, I don't know if, if it's a regular business or, or what. I'm, I haven't researched that. And Tom, maybe you can clarify. I don't, I don't, uh, exactly know. But anyway, he's got a channel on YouTube, and uh, it's, it's quite popular. Um, he does a lot of cool things. Uh, he focuses on... I don't think he has a, a, a one specific subject that he focuses on. Just a lot of really cool things on his channel. And some of the things that he does, uh, he, he tries to uh, find easier ways to do things. And that's what I wanted to talk about today. Um, and I wanted to give him a shout out because, uh, this is, I was browsing through his videos and I found this, this, this cool idea. Um, now he, he, what, what we have to do to this is put a radius on the corners here on the bottom of this pedal arm. And the reason for that, and I'll try to show you very crudely here, uh, the pivot point in, in the pedals are going to be right here. All right. So if you, if you look at it like this, um, what's going to happen is, I'll go, I'll go forward here, if, if it goes like, if you put it like that, you'll notice that it's going to interfere down at the bottom. Um, and, and it's going to interfere even more than what I'm showing you. So uh, we have to put a radius at, at the bottom here. Now the radius doesn't have to be uh, exact. Um, and what I was going to do was, I was just going to take a, a little template and make a scribe line or a sharpie mark and just take it over to the grinder and grind them off. Now that would be, that would probably take a while to do, uh, plus it probably wouldn't look that great. So, uh, I was watching, uh, Tom and, and he was doing, uh, sort of the same thing on, on a piece that wasn't, didn't look like this, but it, it was a, a, a rod, a metal rod and it, it, it was a square piece, I believe. I believe it was, uh, I don't know the dimensions, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and he needed to put a, a radius on the very end. And the cool part is he just used uh, an end mill and uh, used this, the hole, as a pivot point for uh, making a radius on, on the mill. And we're going to show you how we're going to do that. We'll, we'll set it up in the mill and we'll, uh, we'll take the radius off of both sides. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that uh, Tom, he, he gave me the idea and... and I'm going to do a video on it because we have to do it to uh, all of these pedal arms and um, we're going to show you how we're going to put a radius on it. All right, so we're we're all set up in the uh, on the milling machine. Um, and uh, once again, I, I, I wanted to, to thank Tom for for giving me this uh, idea. And I know this probably isn't really his uh, idea to begin with. It's probably been, you know, centuries old, but uh, I still wanted to thank him. I'll, I'll again. I'll, I'll put a link uh, up to his uh, up to his channel, so that you guys can check it out. Uh, it's really a cool channel. You guys should should really watch it. Very very interesting to watch. Um, all right. So we're set up here in the milling machine, and what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to drill a hole in this uh, piece of uh, stock that I have. It's a one by one uh, aluminum bar. Uh, I I've got it eyeballed in the center. It's, it's, this isn't really crucial. The, the, it's not, you know, the dimensions are crucial here. So I've got it uh, somewhat in the center. We're going to drill a hole all the way through and then we're going to tap it to a 
M6 uh, 1.0 uh, tap. Um, so that way we can bolt down what we're going to bolt. And I'll show you all that, uh, and, and, and you'll see what we're talking, what I'm talking about, um, and how we're going to do it. But uh, let's first, let's go ahead and drill this hole. All right, so we drilled all the way through, and now we're just going to tap it. Don't think I can get away with that. So we'll have to take the truck chuck out. All right, now that we got a tap. Let's just test out the uh, test out the threads, and they seem to work fine. Okay, so now we're going to set this up a different way so that we can uh, so that we can do the actual milling on the radius. Okay, so let me kind of try and explain to you what's going on here. Um, I've got you zoomed in uh, nice and tight on the workpiece. Um, so let me try to explain here. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, I've got this tightened down and it's on a swivel point, okay, which is this bolt. All right, now, uh, it didn't exactly, uh, go in there tight, so I had to put some bushings on there. And, and in fact, these are the bushings that we're going to be using, uh, on the final product. So these bushings are perfect, perfectly sized and they, and they, they make it swivel, uh, back and forth just like this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the end mill uh, somewhere around where my finger is right here and we're going to be swiveling it just like this and we're going to be doing it by hand uh, we're not going to be uh, doing any, any sort of uh, movement with the uh, table we're going to be moving this piece by hand and what it's going to do is it's going to come in and it's going to cut it when it passes by the end mill all right um, now the further you move it in towards the center here towards this bolt uh, the end mill that is the, the the more of a radius you're going to get on, well, I shouldn't say the bigger the radius, uh, the more of a cut you're going to get uh, on these sides. And I have to make sure that I don't go too far, because if I go too far, what's going to happen is you'll get all the way over to about this point, and the end mill will be cutting into the side of this, and I don't want that to happen. So uh, I'm going to do a couple of experimental passes, and just to see how much of a, a radius we get on these corners. And I think that should be just about right. All right, let me move this and see what happens. Okay, so we're not touching just yet. So I can move this in a little bit. I'm going to move it in until we get it to touch. On the very edge. And right there we're touching just a little bit and it touches on both sides so that's good all right let's go ahead and uh, we'll make our first make our first pass bit of a squeak but that's all right I'm only doing about ten thousandths at a time there's really no need to go any any deeper than that at a time we're not we're not trying to have a race here
Okay, so I had to stop, <clears throat> excuse me, right at the end there, uh, because it didn't work out as, uh, as I had expected. Um, and there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Um, if you look at one of these, uh, that hasn't been, hasn't done a, I haven't done a radius on this one, but, uh, if you look at this closely, you'll notice, uh, that the, the pivot point is not in the center of how far away it is from each edge. Now, the distance between, you know, this center here and here, well, actually, from this edge to this edge is a quarter of an inch. From this edge to the edge over here is a half an inch. So there's a big difference there. Um, the radius isn't going to be exact. So you're not going to have a radius that goes uh, from this edge all the way over to this edge. It's just not going to happen. Um, so what I might end up doing is either making the radius uh, equal right here and then having a, a, a little shoulder in here. Or what I might do is, you know, here's the end result. And, and, and I had to grind this on the grinder um, to make it look like this. And it, it, it's, not a, it's not a great solution because it leaves a lot of marks. And, and the grinder is just not, you know, we're not going to go that route. Um, if anything, what we would probably do is either, you know, mill it out so the shoulder's equal. And then we'll have like a little lip on this uh, on either side. I don't like that solution. Um, what I would rather do is just cut a V. Just, you know, right here and right here. And that's it. And, and that's, that, that's the simplest solution I can come up with. Um, it wouldn't be very, it wouldn't be very pretty. I mean, it wouldn't be nice and, and round, but it would, it would, uh, cover what we need to do with these. So, um, I think that's probably the best solution. Uh, for now, I don't know what angle I'll cut them, but maybe just at, you know, 45 degrees. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as they travel, as it, you know, is it, just as long as it does this and it doesn't get in the way. That's all that needs to be. You're not going to see this part anyway. It's going to be hidden within the, you know, you're not going to be looking at this. So it, it's not uh, part of the overall, I guess, aesthetics of, of the piece of the the pedals so it it really doesn't it really doesn't matter that you're not gonna you know that it's it doesn't look quite quite as as pretty um but yeah i just wanted to explain that this didn't turn out um as i had expected and and i should have expected it because the distance between the pivot and the edge of the piece isn't exact now when tom did it uh i believe his uh his work piece was uh, uh an an inch, an inch wide, and it doesn't matter how wide the, the workpiece is, as long as the pivot point is equal, is an equal distance from the end and the, and the sides right here. As long as that's equal, you know, your end mill will cut a, a, a nice radius in it. And uh, it just didn't work out that way this time. But uh, that's the reason why. I just wanted to explain that. So we'll come up with another solution. Not, not that big of a deal. All right, guys, there's some more work that we need to do to these uh, pedal arms, and that's coming up. So um, I just wanted to uh, post this, this quick video. Um, you know, it doesn't always work out sometimes. So uh, this is one of our failures. Not a big deal. We'll come up with another solution. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.